Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today we're going to take a look at ServiceNow and how to change, um, or at least how to edit the resolution uh, codes. Specifically, we'll take a look at incident. So if we go over uh, to our filter navigator, we'll go to incidents. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to open up a random one here. All right, in our resolution information, we have these resolu this resolution code. And we have, in this case, these are just out of the box, the solved workaround, solved permanently, uh, et cetera. But if you wanna add your own resolution codes, maybe these don't fit exactly what you need. Uh, there might be one or two additional ones, or maybe you don't need one or two of these. The question then becomes, well, how do I go about doing that? Um, so there are a couple of ways. Um, so we could go to configure dictionary, uh, or we can go to configure choices. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go to configure choices first here. This is probably the easiest way, uh, honestly. So right clicking on it and then going to configure choices. We can enter a new item here. Um, my test uh, resolution, edit, and this is going to be at the bottom. And maybe, uh, maybe it's never really gonna be too costly because our customers don't ask for things that cost things. I don't know. Uh, in this case, I'm going to remove it. Uh, and so now let me go ahead and save it. And we'll take a look at our resolution codes. And so we can see that my test resolution is in and the not solve that it was uh, too costly is out of it. So the other other approach you could take a look at this is going to be to if you go to configure dictionary here. We can actually kind of see here if we scroll down, we can see the choices that we have available. We can create new choices. Um, like I said, this isn't my favorite way to do it. The other way I think is just more intuitive. Um, however, we can certainly do it. Let's give this a label here. Um, my resolution two, and then give it a value. Um, for now, we'll just give it this value. It's not the greatest value, I know. And we can see whether these are active or inactive. So the my solve too costly, that is currently inactive is set to true. So we are not seeing that one. And um, we've added my resolution to uh, my resolution to the inactive is false. Um, so um, we will be able to see this one. So once again, we'll go ahead and update. And if we look at our resolution code, we see my resolution too. Now, the one thing I do want to note, uh, and this is both, uh, if we go to configure choices, we do have the ability to move these up or down here. You do have the same ability through the configure dictionary. We didn't necessarily look at this a minute ago, uh, but if we look at the sequence here. So if I go into here, you can see that I've not given it a sequence. And so if I switch that sequence to number seven, that's now gonna appear at the bottom. I'm gonna update this. And when we go to resolution code here, we'll see my resolution two is now at the bottom. Uh, so that's a couple of ways on how to edit the resolution code. Like I said specifically, this is going to be for incident. Uh, for your other modules, it's going to be most likely fairly similar, but that's how you would edit a choice list. That's all I've got for now. Thanks and have a great day.